everyone, Tom here with a new video jam-packed with everything awesome in the new Match Masters update. So, do you want to know how to utilize Sweeper SE with the best perks and uncover the mysteries of all of the new modes in Match Masters? Well, this is the video for you. And don't forget, we have an exclusive giveaway for one lucky viewer to win a Sweeper SE booster. So, drop your comment down below. The best comment will win a booster. Good luck. So, first up, the new SE booster, Sweeper SE. I'm sure you've been having a lot of fun playing with the booster yourself or being matched up against the booster. Now, Sweeper SE is, of course, based on the gold booster Sweeper, which has also had a facelift as well. So the Sweeper broom has evolved into a new Rockstar broom. And coming up, we are going to be uncovering all of the secrets of this new booster. And we also have the new amazing showdown game mode. Now, this is basically like a 1v1 rumble where you have your own board to utilize. We have the new lights up mode where you have a special column that moves along and increases your multiplier. Then we have match and hatch which creates special pieces on extra move matches. A brand new way to make a match with square matches on various different modes. And the brand new floor is lava game mode as well as a whole host of other amazing features. So the new special edition booster Sweeper SE. So like I mentioned is based on the gold version of the booster and I'm actually really excited to see a gold booster become a legendary booster so no, I just love the artwork of the new booster but let's take a look at how it works. So here we are in showdown which is definitely one of my favorite modes to use the booster so far because it's a booster with a fast animation so I always say in modes like rumble where the timer doesn't stop you need a booster with a quick animation you can see there the timer is still going so it's very important that uh, your booster doesn't take too long and with sweet at SE, I find that it's pretty speedy and with the new showdown mode as well it's basically like a 1v1 rumble mode. Now in this one I've used my trusty Cleo and Star Maker perks. The reason I use these perks is to get a fast activation it's a bit like All Aboard SE where you want the booster to be going over and over again. Now you can see that when you activate this it sweeps the pieces to the side which leaves more of the other colours of pieces that it didn't sweep on the board and then you get a couple of broom pieces as well which you can utilise to push all of them off the board and give you a big haul of points as well. So with a mode like this that has a score legend, you find that the booster works really well because you need yellow and purple pieces. They're going to give you a higher amount of points. And this means that when you do activate the booster, you're going to get a bigger haul of points. It's going to mean that it's easier to get more blue pieces for another booster as well. Now in Rumble as well, it works really, really well. It's a great booster. It's a versatile booster. It definitely works across the range of modes that I've played with so far this season. So with another energy legend here, it works absolutely perfectly. We're managing to sort of hold our own with some better boosters and uh, get some big hauls of points with that little sweeping brush. Now, I'd love to know what modes and perks do you find works best with Sweeper SE? Drop those comments down below. Okay, so let's talk about the new mode Showdown. So Showdown, as we've touched upon already in the video, is a whole new way to play the game and you have complete control of the board. And I think this is one of the things that I really love about Showdown because if you're a Rumble fan like me, you have control over your board. There isn't other players' moves affecting things. They're not trying to take away your blue pieces and kind of mess with you in that respect. So it gives you a chance to just sort of knuckle down and uh, get the highest score you can possibly get. So with Showdown, you have a timer that ticks down throughout and that timer doesn't stop just like in Rumble. So I mentioned already with Sweeper SC, you want to be using a booster that has a fast activation. And uh, yeah, that's probably my top tip for this mode because if you think that it's going to stop like in one of the standard daily modes it's not going to stop that timer keeps on rolling by so you need to maximize the allotted time that you get and you can see here with sweeper sc i'm just having booster activation after booster activation using those sweeping brushes to get ourselves another full booster activation and uh, it just keeps on going like that now i actually think any perk goes here any perk that you can think of is going to work well in this mode but it will have its own unique set of rules and different kind of uh, variations to go with it so next up we have lights up now now, Lights Up is one of my favorite new modes and I've been having a huge ton of luck with Lights Up. So with this new mode, you need to be chasing that line across the board. So the lights kind of shine on a column and that moves around on every single turn and you actually get a multiplier or something different each time you manage to do it. So I've been having a ton of fun with Sweeper SE, getting ourselves a big amount of points and a large multiplier as well. Now, I think for Lights Up, any booster that will take a certain number of colors off the board is going to be advantageous 
advantageous for lights up because you want colors to be taken off the board, leaving other colors, which is going to give you more easy matches on the multiplier column. Now, one of my tips for lights up is I wouldn't focus too much on the multiplier. I know it sounds a bit counterintuitive, but I've had the best luck so far by actually not trying to match in that column too much. I think players can get suckered in a little bit here and actually focusing on getting high scores with your booster, lots and lots of matches, just going for those extra moves wherever on the board they may be can actually do you better in the long run. But I'd love to know if you've got any tips or tricks for lights up. How have you been finding the mode? So next up we have match and hatch. Now this is a really fun mode that really gives you a chance to experience some of the special pieces on the other boosters. So you can see their extra moves create special pieces of some of the other boosters. So in rumble modes match and hatch is super fun and unique. You can see there we did an extra move which gave us a spray can from Foxy Roxy. So it's a real good mashup of different boosters. For example, if we go for the extra match on these green pieces, the little egg gives us a monkey juju skull. So like I said, it gives a random element to it, a bit like Mutation Labs actually, in terms of you don't know what you're gonna get. And it's really fun actually to see the variety of different pieces on the board. I mean, here I've got a Brocco Boogie Disco Ball. I've got a Foxy Roxy Spray Can. It really does make the gameplay very, very interesting. It also means if you utilize perks like my personal favorite, the Cleo perk, you can actually increase the number of those special pieces on the board, which will just give you more points. Now, it is the Lava Lounge season, and there is an awesome new mode. It's called The Floor is Lava, so I'm wondering if you guys have checked this mode out so far. It's definitely going to be a hot favorite, pardon the pun. So you can see at the bottom, we actually have lava at the bottom of the screen. So the way The Floor is Lava works is when two matches have been made on a row, then uh, the lava comes up and takes that row away. So here I am using Sweeper SE, and I found it pretty effective because of how Sweeper SE pulls pieces across the board. I also found the mini mastermind perk pretty handy for this mode. So let's go and activate it here. It obviously makes a bunch of matches, which gives you a higher chance of getting more rows exploding with this lava. But yeah, just like all of the modes, Sweeper SE works handsomely here and we managed to get ourselves a nice victory. That's actually my first game with the Flora's Lava, but I'm gonna be having some good fun with this new mode. And finally, in terms of new modes and ways to play, we have the new square match feature. Now, this is rolled out across multiple modes. You'll see the symbol for a square match on many different game modes, and it basically just gives you a unique special piece that when you match four together, and I actually thought this would be a great idea in the past, so I'm really glad the match masters have added this to the game. So let's take a look at the square match in action. We've actually done it on the yellow pieces there. It gives us this special piece, and then when that piece is activated, so the lightning is going to get it here, and that will mean that a load of other pieces across the board are exploded. Now, this is a new part of the muscle memory that you need to learn in Match Master, so make sure that you take care to utilize it properly when you see it available in the mode that you're playing. Okay, so that covers the new modes, the new boosters, but there are some other changes that we need to take a look at in Match Masters. So first up, the slime has now become the jelly, so the silver booster has now become the jelly, and it is pretty fun to use as well. So let's check it out in action. Let's see how the booster works. So in comes the jelly. I'm actually quite excited about this. It's so cute and I'm going to be doing a video soon on uh, how to utilize the jelly in the best way possible. But it's a really sweet booster and uh, I think it's much nicer than the slime. Now not only has Sweep It been made into an SE booster but Sweep It has also had a facelift as well. So I think the animation is beautiful. And if we take a look at the uh, gold Sweep It in action, it's uh, just a mini version of the SE version. I mean the new SE version is so amazing but uh, it's good to see the gold version get a facelift and have a new look as well. Trophy progression has a new look. If we go right to the beginning, right at the bottom of the trophy tier, and we scroll our way through, we have a new clean interface. It looks beautiful. It looks lovely. And we have a nice way to look at our season rewards as well. I'm going to be aiming for the top, and I'd love to know how many trophies you have in Match Masters at the moment. There is also a fresh look in the store as well with some awesome deals to get your hands on Sweeper SE. And don't forget to continue claiming your daily spins and your mystery boxes as well. Oh, and you get a free random booster as well if you've made an in-app purchase. So we're gonna get ourselves a free sweep it booster. I'm actually gonna replace that one. Okay, we get ourselves the balloons. So there you have it. Everything awesome about the new Match Masters update, including the new special edition booster, all of the new game modes, and the other changes too. Please show support for this video by leaving a like down below. We're gonna have tutorials and helpful content around all of the new modes and boosters coming up very soon. Make sure
sure you subscribe to Match Masters Official. You've hit that bell icon so that you never miss a new video. And remember, there is a new giveaway. If you'd like to get yourselves a free sweep at SE, drop that comment right now. And of course, I'll see you soon for more content.